hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm actually going to be reviewing nail wind gel powder set um this set was sent to me by the company to review so this is how it came packaged and it looks like um all nudes and pink shades and it's a six a six piece set excuse me it's a six piece set and it's um the brand is nail wind uh, i'm not too familiar with that brand i don't know if you guys are if you are go ahead and let me know what you think about this brand in the comments um these are eight milliliter bottles and we're gonna go ahead and get it open so we can see what um what i think about the um nail wind gel powder set and it just has some like um usage steps and instructions on the back and i'm just gonna tear this fam off of here real quick how have you guys been doing i've been doing great as far as um my vsg go i haven't lost any weight unfortunately um but i'm working on it you guys i'm human i haven't gained weight but i haven't lost any weight either but i am working on it so let's go ahead and talk about this nail wind um gel polish let me turn this around so we have um this little nail art inspiration they're just showing you like a you know different designs that you can create and then it basically just tells you how to um how to use the gel polish which we all know i'm sure how to use gel polish and i'm going to be doing a set um not actually a set but i'm going to be doing um some type of design using these on my practice hands i didn't even show you guys that i just looked for myself and put it back in the um uh, in the bottle this is number n 1043 and it is a beautiful pinkish nude it's more um towards like a brownish peachish nude it's a real pretty color so we'll see what that one looks like the next one is this looks like gray I can't even open this, you guys. Oh, this is white, actually. kind of look gray in the bottle, but this is actually white. I actually needed another white because my white is kind of low. Mm, this is a, another nude. This is more of a peachy type nude, though. It's more in the peach family. And... This next one, I didn't even tell you guys the numbers. <laughs> I'm all over the place. So the white was number N, 1001. And then that peach nude was number N, 1044. And I'm taking the N is for nudes, um, I guess. So this color, ooh, this is kind of like a rust color. This is really pretty, I like this color. It's come. It's becoming. Um, well, we're going into the fall season, and this will be a really pretty um, color for fall. This is number N ten sixty three. And then this fifth bottle is number N ten sixty four. Mhm. Mm this is just your like a basic nude. Your brownish nude bearish looking and then this last one y'all cannot get this bottle open Adriana can you see if you can get this bottle open I can't I literally can't get it open oh I got it oh y'all all my energy gone Trying to get this bottle open. This is number N1045, and it is on more of a brown, like brown and white tones I see in this. But it's more of, you know, kind of a pale type nude. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're actually gonna start with that same color that we just left off with, and that is that lightest pale uh, color. If I can get this little <laughs> pinky situated, but we're gonna start with the um the lightest, palest nude that's in the collection, and it's number N1045. And I'm just going to place all of the colors on each, you know, um, one color on each finger. And then we'll figure out the design as we go. Because I really don't, <laughs> I didn't have anything in mind for this set. Um, I, I just opened it on camera. So I hadn't actually looked at the colors beforehand other than the pictures. So I was really still in the thought process of what to do with these colors. So I'm just going to place a solid uh, coat of each color on each nail. Um, and then we'll come back with, um, you know, some simple design just so that we get a, a true idea of these gel polishes. So on this ring finger, I'm um, going in with number N1044. And... Its color is a little bit different shade of nude from this last color. It's still kind of a pale nude, but it is more, it's more of, let's see what color would I say this shows more. This one shows more of a peach uh, color. I'm really fond of all of the nude shades because after all, who doesn't like nude? Most every um, everybody likes nudes when it comes down to nail colors because they're really elegant and classy and that you can pair them with anything. So you guys, I, a call came through and I actually lost the footage of me polishing the middle finger. On the middle finger, that's actually number N1043, just so we know. And um, you can see the color here is more of a pinkish, um, has more of a pinkish tone to it. So moving on to the pointer, which is what I'm applying now. Um, that's number N 1064. And number N 1064, it is, um, let's see, that is more of a mauve. It has more of a mauve like tint to it. So on the thumb, which is um, what I'm doing now, I'm applying number 1063. Number 1063 is that more of a rust color nude. More of that fall, give you the, gives you that fall and autumn, autumn look. I can't wait to pair this with like some leaves and some um, foils and make something, um, something cute. I want to do something different, but still use the leaves and stuff for this fall. I've been thinking about a design I can uh, come up with. That'll be cute. I can't wait to see what the trends are this um, this season. Okay. So for the most part, you can see all of the colors here. And I know like right off the bat, I do want to tell you that I already know that I'm going to have to apply a second coat to these. So, um, yeah, that's really cute. Really cute and classy, each one of these colors are. So we're going to go ahead and place it in the light. And you guys, the reason that I was saying uh, about the second coat, I'm thinking that I know I didn't use a base coat for this set. So I'm thinking that the polishes weren't spreading very well, maybe because um, I didn't use a base coat. But I know that you did see me going over and over the polish, like trying to spread it. And I'm just trying to make sure that I get an even coat. But I think it was just due to the fact that I did not use a base coat. Um, but overall, the colors spread it well. Um, they finally blended into each other. Once they sat for a few minutes, they did get a smooth, um, a smooth look to them. So I'm just going in now with um, each nail, doing a second coat. And as you can see, it looks really nice. I just hate that the bottles are um, small as they are. But for you know, overall, it looks really nice. I just try not to put on too much um, when I'm just doing you know, a practice hand or whatever. 
because these nails are like going to go thrown in a jar <laughs> or in this little bucket over here. I'm not sure. But this color right here is like one of my favorites, I think. This would probably be my favorite out of all of them. So while we got all of the um, nails on screen, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the discount code because I do have a discount code for you guys. It's only 10% off, but anything is better than nothing. I'll also place in the description box a link for you guys to click on where it'll be easier for you to just click on the link and it'll take you straight to Amazon to these um, colors. Well, to this um, Nail Win six-piece gel potty polish set it'll take you right to that so make sure you look in the description box for that link and also make sure you copy and paste that code for your 10 percent off because we want all our savings that we can possibly get but this set is really inexpensive anyway so if you're a beginner and you need to kind of up your you know your collection of products I don't know what you have, you know, when you're starting, but I'm sure you don't have too much when you're starting out. I feel like this is for, um, it's a good eye product for someone who's on a budget um, with, you know, you can get something for a lesser price uh, with, you know, pretty good quality. So I feel like that's a plus about this product really pretty as far as the wear would go though i wouldn't be able to tell you you know how it wears or how long it lasts or if it peels or if it plucks that would be um something that would be good to know but because i am doing it on a practice hands a practice hand i wouldn't be able to um to give you guys that information so like i said if you have used um nail win before they do have more um, shades other than the nude. So if you've used Nail Win in any colors or, you know, any sets, can you please let me know in the comments what your experience was? Look how pretty, y'all. Yeah, just let me know in the comments what your experience was with Nail Win um, so we can talk about it and we'll all know, you know, what to expect when we purchase these. Okay, so now that I have it out of the lamp, we have everything um, cured up. And um, I would like to say that these um, nail colors should be cured at 120 seconds. And I'm going to just use this blooming gel while I'm talking. I'm going to go ahead and apply the blooming gel. I'm going to do a crock design on this nail. So, um... I just keep that in mind but anyway what i was saying is these gels cure at 120 seconds each i did not cure them 120 seconds um during this process i only cured them for 60 seconds each and that's because i actually cured um i just basically wanted them to cure and uh, just enough for me to go in with the design because I'm going to be placing them back in the light. So I didn't necessarily have to cure them for 120 seconds initially. So now I'm just going to show you how I create this little croc design. Not sure what I'm going to do or how I'm going to create it, but I'm just going to go ahead. I know you can see out to the side here. I am placing um, the colors on this little palette. I want to make sure that I do have the color um, each color here because I don't know the design that I'm going to create on the nails. So I just wanted to make sure that I have all of the colors on the palette. Let me move it over here so you guys can see. Sometimes I feel unorganized, you guys. I've been moving around and I'm in a new little space. And so I have to get used to my surroundings and where I have everything placed and stuff. It kind of disorient, you know, it's kind of disorients me for a minute. But let's go ahead and do this little design. I've already applied my blooming gel and that's just the Bereno blooming gel and i'm gonna go in i'm gonna do a little close-up so you guys can get a good look and this design that i'm going to do um as you can see it's not very strategically done i'm actually just randomly going in with lines um no specific shape or anything or 
design. I'm just placing um, little spots here and there. And I'm letting the blooming gel do what it does. And we will see at the end, it's going to create a very beautiful piece of artwork. And I'm not going to add anything else to that. And like I said, I'm just going to sit for a minute, let the blooming gel do what it does. And check that out. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop it in the light. And like I said, only for 60 seconds. Okay. So for this pinky, um, I'm going to attempt to do the vertical ombre. And we're going to see how that works out. And the colors I chose was that rust color. And then I'm going in with the same color I used as the base. And that was the number, um, that lightest, palest nude. And it was number N, 1045. So I'm putting that, um, mixing that one with the rust and seeing how well they blend together in this aspect. I know I have a um, ombre and brush. Okay. And so the little solution to the side that you see me dipping my brushes in, it's just alcohol. And this is not um just like an isopropyl alcohol. This is actually alcohol that I purchased from Sally's and it's um, balanced, especially for nails. So that is what I'm dipping my brushes in. It, when you're using gel, if you use alcohol, it keeps your brushes clean and it also allows you um, to clean up like really quickly and easily. So the colors are not blending very well. I don't know if I should switch brushes or what, but you see me going downward first and a downward motion blending the colors. They weren't blending very well. So then I started to go in upward motion. They still didn't blend very well. So I think I'm going to, let me clean up this. I'm gonna try my striping brush. Give me just a second. Okay. So I'm going to try this striping brush to see if I can get it to blend a little bit better. Mm, I'm not feeling this one. I have to be honest, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I'm going to give you the real. I'm not feeling that. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the light, but I'm not feeling it. And I felt like I should just move on, not spend a whole lot of time on that. I'm not feeling that. I'll have to try that design with a different gel polish at a later uh, a later day. So, but we're just gonna leave it like that and keep it moving. So on this ring finger, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this blooming gel, and I make sure that my entire surface is covered because we are sealing. This is part of the sealing process as well. Um, even though it's used for blooming, I feel like it's also part of the sealing process as well. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm just going to give you a good little close up. And this is just a random little marble design. I dip my brush in each one of the colors, um, except the color of the nail. And I'm just going in randomly placing, um, these gels here and there to give it a cute little artistic look. And as you can see, once you place the gel on the nail, the blooming gel then does what it is supposed to do. And I don't always use blooming gel when I'm marbling. Um, basically, I never use blooming gel when I'm marbling. I decided to do it on this set just to get the idea of what it looks like. And it looks like something is missing. So I'm going to take some of this white with my um, striping brush and just add a little white into this design to maybe tie it into the nail that's next to it. But um, typically when I do marbling, I just do it on top of a wet top coat. I don't cure my top coat, I top coat it and then marble my um, design into that top coat. And it kind of gives it um, the same effect as a blooming gel, but not so much, but it comes out really pretty. So once I um, did go in and do a couple of white lines, as you can see, it's really cute. I'm going to go ahead and place it in the light and it's out. And let's see, for this pointer, 
I think I'm going to do another croc design, but I did white on the last croc design. So this one, we won't do white with this one. We'll do a darker color. So I'm thinking about maybe doing one shade lighter. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll do just a darker shade, maybe a darker shade. Because I want it to be seen. So I'm going to give you another close-up. And then I'm going to start in the same way that I did on that um, middle finger. And I'm just going to randomly place different little um, marks on the nail. And let the blooming Gel do what it does. Basically the same concept, just a different color. Okay, I see some spots where are a little bit lighter. Sometimes I leave it like that because it gives you um, the imperfection that you need. But um, I did want to go a little bit darker right there. So, as you can see, I'm curing each one um, when I'm done because I don't want um, them to be messed up while I'm moving to the next um, design. Or I don't want the blooming gel to over bloom and you end up with a solid color nail because <laughs> it's going to keep blooming until it runs into to each other okay so for the thumb i'm going to do the same thing i did for the ring finger which is just a marble design and i'm going to take the brush and probably just dip it into all the colors except the rust maybe and just do something random. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna place this. And I did get it on the skin a little bit, but it doesn't matter, it's a gel. You can always go back and just wipe it off. What you do want is your design placed exactly where you want it placed. So don't too much, you know, focus or worry about it being on the skin. As long as you get it off before curing. You know, you have to completely um, clean it off before curing. And I think I'm going to leave that just like that. And just let it do what it does. And then we'll go ahead and clean it up and then put it in the light. And I think I'm going to order me a new cleanup brush. I'll maybe pick one up from the beauty supply because I have given this little cleanup brush the blues. Okay, let's take a look at it. It's looking cute. I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the light. Okay. So, we have our designs. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and do and top coat these. I'm not sure what I want to use, um, whether I want to top coat it with matte or if I want to top coat it with uh, glossy. I'm not quite sure. So, I'll probably just mix it up. And I don't know why I'm bending these nails, um, the fingers down <laughs> like that. I am not sure. I was thinking that I would, could probably polish it better if they were bent down like that, but hey, however. Cute, 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 cute. So let's see what the gloss looked like, the glossy top coat, and let's see what the um the matte top coat looks like. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Lavender Violets, and this is the gel top coat. This is the Lavender Violets uh, matte top coat. So let's go with, I'm going to do um, glossy on the pinky and probably the thumb. Okay, my next video, you guys, <laughs> should probably move a little smoother. For some reason, I just feel like I'm all over the place. It's like, I don't know where nothing is, but... I am going in with this glossy top coat, high shine top coat on the pinky. I'm going to do the same thing on the thumb. And then the, the ring finger, the middle finger, and the pointer, I'm actually going to do a matte. 
I'm thinking that this mat gonna be what it where it's at. <laughs> the mat is where it's at. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I don't want to speak too soon, so we'll see. I just want to use whichever one is going to really, like, make the designs pop. And so this is the last step of your sealing process. You want to make sure you do cover the sides um, because you don't want your... That's a lot. That Your sealing process has a lot to do with your gels uh, flaking or peeling. And I do hear some people saying that their gels flake and peel. I feel like if you, you if you're, no matter what gel you're using, if you're using a, a good top coat and you seal the correct way, I don't think that your gels will peel. But if you're not completely sealing the correct way, then I feel like your gels will peel. So that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> It's not law. That's just my personal opinion. So you always want to make sure you do seal um, the sides and the tip. You know, make sure you go all the way around the nail sealing it. And I honestly feel like you won't have any issues with um, with the peeling. But for the most part, I feel like these gels work pretty good. Um, I feel like it'll be worth the book. Um, like I said, they are very inexpensive. Um, so if you're a beginner, you're on a budget, they would be something that you could use to um, add to your collection, especially if you're a uh, beginner, if you're a beginner. Okay, so uh, as I thought, as I said, <laughs> as I predicted, the mat is bomb y'all i'm telling you the mat is so bomb i am going back in on top of this glossy top coat and i'm matting it out and we're gonna go ahead and mat it out and we're gonna mat it out because baby that glossy was given cheap it was given antique it was given old-fashioned it was it was not given what it was supposed to be given honey but that mat <laughs> is where it's at and so I just wanted to go back in, met out the pinky, met out the thumb, and then um, we'll be done. Give me just one second to finish this thumb up, and then we're going to take a look at the overall. But I'm pleased with these um, nail wind gel polishes. Okay, so that's out the light, and we are done, y'all. We are done. Take a look. I think these are very pretty. If I do say so myself. Just giving you guys a different angle. And I just would like to thank you guys for watching. If you got this far in the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That pushes my um pro my content out for others to see. And if you are feeling my vibe, you like the content that I bring, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. If you subscribe, make sure you hit the post notification bell because it keeps you in the know. And um, like I say, thank you guys. And this is it for me tonight. And I hope you have a great week. Uh, we're going into a new week. I hope you have a great week ahead. Don't forget to pray and practice gratitude. See you guys later. Bye.